Good afternoon. This is Alexander Hanf from Privacy News and today we're recording our first video review of a number of encrypted storage devices by a company called iStorage in the UK. The two products we're going to be looking at today are the DiscAssure Pro half a terabyte version and the DiscSure Pro SSD, 30 gigabyte version. Both devices are FIPS 140-2 Level 2 certified. Both products allow passwords of 7 to 16 characters in length. And the DiscAssure Pro, the 500 gigabyte version we were looking at, has um, a shift key which enables you to double the number of permutations. Both devices have variable timing circuits, which increases the time required between guesses and after 10 wrong guesses, you must reset the device in order to continue putting in the password. After 20 incorrect guesses, the device will auto-erase all the data that's on the drive. The security chips within the devices are encased in an epoxy resin, making them tamper-proof. In order to access these hardware chips, you would have to take apart the epoxy resin, which will almost definitely result in the, the hardware itself being damaged and therefore being unusable. The devices use AES XT 256 bit encryption, which for all intents and purposes is uncrackable with modern technology in a reasonable time frame. However, the random bit generator used to seed the master key may well be vulnerable and is questionable based on the fact that it's part of the NIST SP800-90 specification, which the NSA are known to have compromised in their famous RSA $10 million uh, payoff. The iStorage devices use SP-800-90 hash, fun hash function, which currently isn't believed to be compromised, but is under peer review. There may also be a backdoor master key um, because these devices are based on Apricorn devices, which are a company in the US. However, it'd be impossible at this point for us to determine whether they do, because if there was a backdoor master key, it's inevitable that it would be accompanied by a gag order from the US government preventing Apricorn from being able to disclose this information. It might also be vulnerable to side channel attacks under SPA or DPA. Um, this is something that's known about FIPS 140-2 devices. It doesn't say that these definitely are, but certainly the possibility exists. I don't have the equipment in my lab to be able to test this. Um, it requires all sorts of scientific equipment. That said, these devices should be reasonably safe um, against all but the most advanced attacks. So unless you're involved in sort of activity which is going to attract the attention of intelligence services for, for governments, the chances are that the documents or any data that you store on these devices should be quite safe. Um, so for, for a home solution for storing your sensitive documents, um, accounts, birth certificates, etc., these would be perfectly acceptable. Uh, even within a business environment, as long as this isn't incredibly sensitive data that's likely to attract the attention of governments or highly sophisticated hackers, then the data should be relatively secure. So first of all, let's look at the DiscAssure Pro. It comes in a plastic casing with a rubberized texture and a keypad. The keypad is very robust and requires strong presses in order to make the keys work. Um, the instructions that come with the device are fairly straightforward and comprehensive and I set up nice and easily. It also comes with a USB 3 connector and an, an extra extender cable for the USB 3, um, allowing you to get optimal speed via USB interface. It will take 7 to 16 um, character combinations and there's also this shift key here which allows you to increase the different types of um, numbers that you have. So effectively we have 10 numbers here, but with the shift key that increases it to 20. Um, it doesn't give them a number as such, but it gives them a different character within the, the passphrase, giving you up to 20 various um, characters within the combination. The speed of the device is incredible. It's very fast, um, despite the fact that it encrypts the data on the fly. Uh, I, I saw speeds of around 110 to 120 megabytes per second, read and write speed. One problem I did have with the device was it would occasionally disconnect itself from the, the PC. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. It could be that there's a potential problem with the USB cable itself uh, or some sort of driver issue with the, the, USB, um, the USB device itself. That said, storage of data on there was incredibly fast. The features within 
the management or the user management of the device are fairly comprehensive as well because when you first set the device up you have to put in an administrator's key and then you can add a number of users to the device by giving them separate passwords. If you forget the passwords to the device you need to reset it. Um, instructions for doing that come with the packaging. When you do so it will also make the drive unreadable so when you first plug it back into a PC you'll have to mount the drive and reformat it in order to make it accessible. If you take the drive out of the housing and separate it from the attached circuitry, plug it into an SSD, uh, into a, a SATA or a USB caddy, um, then the, the device will be inaccessible. The data on there is encrypted and will not initialize without the hardware interface. Um, so being able to remove the drive from the housing wouldn't be a viable um, attack against the data itself. My use of the device over the past couple of weeks has been incredibly positive and I will continue to use it for backing up my sensitive documents. It's also portable enough and rugged enough to take with me when I travel. And bearing in mind I speak at conferences all over the world, it's a very useful device for me to take with me for storing this data. Prices for the Disk Assure Pro start at £209 for the half a terabit version I have here and go all the way up to £330 for the two terabit version with various steps in between. The next device is the Disk Assure SSD. This is the 30 gigabyte model. It comes in a solid aluminium casing. And the thumb drive itself is made from extruded aluminium. Again, it's USB 3. It doesn't have the shift key like the Disk Assure Pro has, but it is currently um, pending the level three FIP certification, which is slightly better with regards to security than the level two certification because if the device itself is compromised, if the hardware uh, is opened up, this should zero out um, the sensitive data that's on there which would enable attackers to access the master key. So as well as the epoxy resin, that extra added security um, should they receive their certification is an interesting addition. Um, this is, again is very fast. It, I, I saw speeds of around 150 to 160 megabytes per second. Um, and really the features are pretty much the same as the features that you find in the Disk Assure Pro. So I'm not going to talk in too much detail about it. It's very small, it has a good feel to it. Um, it isn't splash proof as far as I'm aware, whereas the Disk Assure Pro is. And I found that after moderate use, it does tend to get quite warm. Uh, and when I say quite warm, I mean kind of laptop battery warm when your laptop's been running for 30 minutes or so. Uh, so I would, I would warn people to be careful when they're removing the device from their USB port on their computer. Um, it's not sufficient enough to burn you or cause any damage, but it is certainly more warm than I feel comfortable with. Um, that said, for just transferring files, it shouldn't be such a problem. I experience issues with it being warm after doing a full format. And I would recommend that when you receive these devices, that you format them to NTFS if you're going to be using them on Windows systems because in doing so, it does increase the read and write speed significantly. I found with FAT32 formatting on these devices, the read and write speed was certainly much slower than the advertised uh, speeds on the packaging. Um, but once reformatted to NTFS, the speeds did increase significantly. With regards to cost, the Disk Assure SSD starts at £159 for the 30 gigabyte version, which I have here, and goes all the way up to £299 for the 240 gigabyte version. So in conclusion, I would say that both devices provide adequate security for home use and business use, provided that the data isn't incredibly sensitive and likely to attract the attention of foreign governments, um, signals intelligence, or highly sophisticated hackers, uh, which in most circumstances isn't going to be the case. Uh, it, this concludes our first review at Privacy News. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch via the comment section. Thank you very much.